Lately, with all the new Gunpla models that's coming up, we were getting a little bit fatigued in building and also looking at Gunpla kits. And we thought the new Full Metal Panic kits that's coming up from Bandai this month, actually, in April, is really, really something that um, model kits should not miss. The first one we're looking at now is, of course, the M9 Grins Bank. Uh, if you look at it, it looks kind of dull. There's not much color variation. It's just gray and darker gray scale and a little bit of white. But if you really look at the kit in detail in terms of the weaponry, and also the articulation the kit itself has a lot of potential for you to customize it and even maybe put in a few um, custom pistons that our dear friend Azro has taught us before now why i really like this girl's bag is number one the price is really affordable it's only about 3000 yen and secondly there is a very cool pose where this girl's bag can actually lie down and shoot his sniper rifle out just like the one we saw from the Evangelion. It really reminds us of the old Evangelion kits. So this is one of the reasons why you should really look at the Full Metal Panic kit that's coming out in April. Now the second kit out of three that's been released by Bandai under the full metal panic line is the M9 Gurren's Bag. This is the commander type. Now if you look at it, the difference is of course the head and the shoulder armor is slightly different. And again, this time around, this guy is equipped with a lot of accessories as you can see here. There's a lot of weaponry, a knife and two different pairs of hands included as well. So we really like this kit because number one, uh, the color is also a little bit different. It is also uh, a lot more color version than the Gunsback we saw earlier. And again, you know, we would really love to get this kit to spray it with some matte color and some rust effects. Now, the only question that remains is whether the the head itself, the, the eye sensor unit, whether it is actually a clear plastic uh, part or is that just a sticker? So that's something that we need to find out. Another reason why we really love this kit is, as you can see from the picture here just now, this guy can really do a full bending or squatting pose as you can see here and that is really cool and not many gun kids can actually do this very very well and finally the last kit is the arc 7 from the full metal panic series of course this kit is the one that has a little bit more colors it has some light blue and also some yellow versus the other two kits is just plain uh, you know different gray scales this kit has some interesting mechanism uh, opening gimmicks such as the one you see here right now it kind of reminds us of the Gundam F91 uh, gimmick where it's going super super speed I can't remember what's the name of the mode as well now interestingly as well this kit also has uh, the great articulation and the posing capabilities you can do the full squatting pose without any issues we will probably be getting this kit very very soon once we see any shop that carries them at 3000 yen i think they're quite affordable and even though they are 160 scale i don't think they are at the 160 scale as what we see from the gunpla i think it's probably closer to maybe 170 scale of the gunpla or 100 so that remains to be seen we can't wait to actually get our hands on this and for those of you who are actually bought with Gunpla, let us know what you think of the new Full Metal Panic line from Bandai. You know, if you follow the anime, I'm sure you'll be looking to get one of these. But if you're not, are you interested in this design? It's much more mechanical and that's what we like. So that's all from my episode today. Thank you guys for watching and tuning in every day. Please do subscribe to our channel for more news and updates. Thank you very much.